legacy leagues. Tell me what will your legacy be? Melquan Horton and Redeem team trying to come off a heartbreaking OT loss to Flint Tropics in week two. And it was all Redeem team in this one. A league high 37 steals against a winless Bricklayers team, but they kept it close for a bit. Eddie Whitman here finding DJ Foster for the slam. Redeem team wins this one by a huge margin, 111 to 49. Next is a great game between an undefeated Flint Tropics team and a one and one tune squad team led by that man, Jaden Battle, who had 30. But Flint Tropics were a bit too much in this one. Reigning MVP Mike Bizzuto rare with 15 in this game. And right here, Matt Sear is going to find TJ Gianni, who's going to poke it back to Matt Sear for the dunk. And we got an early dunk of the year candidate right here. Jaden Battle, my God. There's your poster moment, my friend. Flint Tropic 66, Toon Squad 54. On court one, we had the battle of undefeated team Sports Look versus Shocker City, and Dan Norco led the way for Sports Look with 20 points. Carmine Santorelli doing what he does best with 22 without Terrell Vargas, but Sports Look was just too much for Shocker City in this one. Brian Acevedo hitting the mid range jumper. Sports Look 64, Shocker City 57. A feisty but winless Nick Strong team takes on an undefeated run TMC team in week three. And it was all Nick Strong early on. Ryan Florentine's gonna knock down the D3. He had 18 points in this one. But Run TMC making the push. Dominique Langston to the lane with the slam. He had 16 points. Chris Leak for Nick Strong played really well in this one. Nifty move under the basket. He also had 16. But Run TMC just too much for Nick Strong in the end. Cody DeLeonardo with 13, he dropped that one there. And then Reggie Stewart doing what he does, run TMC by one point. Finally, in our nightcap, we had two winless teams battling off. Scott's Tots versus Silly Senders. And Scott's Tots opened this one up hot. They had something to prove early on. It was 14-0 before Silly Senders scores. And they were just making it rain down low. Joseph Carbone's gonna drive the lane for the big man slam. But don't count out Silly Senders. Thomas Conway in the lane. Nice little fader from him. He had five points. And just as the first half was coming to an end, Brendan Boucher pulls up and drains it. He's pumped up. Silly Senders have a little momentum going to the half, but Scott's tots were just a little too much. Hitting it downtown, and they win it 64-57. to 57.